it's Chloe. Thank you so much for watching this week's episodes of Chloe Does It. I hope you enjoyed. You left so many amazing questions and I'm really excited to answer them. So let's get right to it. Sydney Tolbert asked, would you rather live without makeup or without dance? Probably without makeup. Dance is a huge part of my life, but I'm a huge fan of makeup, especially when I break out or something on my skin, it definitely saves me, but probably live without makeup over dance. Clara asked, where do you buy all of your cute clothes from and how do you get over the fear of auditioning? Clara, is that you, my sister? <laughs> where do I get all of my clothes from? It depends. I shop at a lot of different places, but some of my favorites are Zara and Topshop. And how do you get over the fear of auditioning? Well, for me, I never really get over the fear, but as I got older and just kept auditioning, you stop getting nervous. But I guess the fear will always be there. And I think that's a good thing because the moment you stop feeling nervous or excited for something is the moment you should stop doing it. So I always think of nerves as a good sign. Vanessa Morell asks, if you could hang out with a celebrity for a day, who would it be? Hashtag Chloe does it. Hashtag Chloe does it, yay. If I could hang out with a celebrity for a day, who would it be? Hmm, probably my favorite author, Sarah J Maas. I'm a huge fan of her. I I actually just started this new series called Outlander and I am obsessed with the whole cast and the show and everything. So maybe Jamie, I think it's Sam Hugan is his name. So I love Jamie. I love Grey's Anatomy. I love Game of Thrones. So maybe Amelia Clark. I don't know, there's so many people. I don't think I could decide. <laughs> Cole Bean said, who in your family is the best to run lines with? That depends. My mom is, she's pretty good to run the lines with, but she gives me a lot of corrections and she doesn't let me just try different things. She just can be kind of controlling sometimes, as <laughs> all moms can be. My dad is, he's okay. I think probably my favorite is Clara because she acts as well. So she doesn't judge me when I'm trying different ways how to say my lines. She sits down and she does it with me as long as I need her to. She makes it fun. We laugh if I like mess up or if she messes up. But I always love hanging out with Clara, so probably her. I don't know. My whole family is pretty good with running lines. Trinity Green said, Hi Chloe, if you could travel forward in time for a day, what would you ask your future self? P.S. Love you. I think I'd be really scared to ask my future self anything. I'd be scared to travel in time, let alone ask myself anything, because I feel like that might ruin something that's happening present moment. But I don't know. At the same time, I always go back and forth with, oh, I want to know like what happens in the future. Like, what do I end up doing? How do I turn out? But at the same time, I kind of like the unknowing part of it. So yeah, I'd be pretty scared to ask myself anything because what if it ruins something now? So I don't think I'd ask myself anything. Jennifer Lawrence said, Hi Chloe, I have a question. Which actors do you look up to and are there any teen actors slash actress that you think are talented and would like to work with? Love you. I love you too. I don't think that's the real Jennifer Lawrence. I got pretty excited there for a second. I look up to Leonardo DiCaprio. Obviously he's incredible. Meryl Streep, Kate Blanchett. Obviously like the entire cast of Game of Thrones. I love Natalie Portman. There's so many amazing actors and actresses out there. I would honestly love to work with any and I I look up to them so much. I'm always trying to get tips from anyone I can. Enranged Otter said, hey Chloe, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is probably football to watch and to play. I used to play basketball with my dad when I was younger. Sometimes we play baseball. I love to watch hockey. I don't think I could ever play because I can't even skate, let alone like actually do things other than skate on the ice. But I think football is my number one. I love to watch it. I love in the fall, like cuddling up next to the TV with my parents and my family and watching football games go Steelers and I love to play football a couple years back I think it was like in seventh or eighth grade in gym we were playing football outside and it was supposed to be no tackling but I was really good friends with my gym teacher and I was like oh come on let us like play one round and so we did I think I tackled someone I, or I like to believe that I tackled someone I probably didn't but in my mind I did Olivia Price asked what is your favorite type of movie to watch drama action etc I love you and congratulations I love you too thank you so much Olivia my favorite type of movie you know what that really depends I'm, I'm actually a huge movie person I even see movies twice in the theaters. I love drama. I love action. I love all of it. I really enjoy action. I like comedy. I like to say I'm going to watch a horror movie and then we watch it and then I don't actually watch it. I just cover my eyes and ask everyone what's going on. I like comedy, but I have to be in a particular mood to watch comedy. I feel like everyone's always like, oh, let's watch a funny movie, but I have to be in a certain mood to watch it. So my favorite is probably like action, drama. Grace Elizabeth asked, do you prefer long or short hair? I like both. I liked my long hair, but for some reason I was just really over it and I was like, I need to cut it. So then I cut it and I really really liked my short hair and now that it's growing back out I'm like oh I want my long hair back I keep going back and forth but if anything I don't regret cutting my hair because it did cut all the dead ends off so now my hair is super healthy which is good but I think I prefer long hair I am kind of into my short hair now though because it's different and it's fun but I am I'm ready for it to grow back